It's Friday, June 4th, and there's been lots of talk the last couple of days about Antonio Conte and the possibility of him becoming the new Tottenham manager. And we are expecting a decision this Monday. Just a quick break, guys. So it's Saturday, and the latest news about this is that Tottenham is going to look another way. They are not going to sign Conte. So the people over at our soccer are having a blast. But nevertheless, after I recorded the tactics yesterday, I played some games and I tried it out in online divisions and they are working perfectly fine with this year's Tottenham squad. So if you want to try it out, continue watching to see how I set it up and uh, let's get back to the tactics. Let's do like a hypothetical. What would the tactics look like if Conte will be appointed Tottenham manager? So let's jump into the tactical screen and take a look at some formations. So Antonio Conte has managed some teams in his career. Obviously lately he was manager of Inter and at Inter he played like a 3-5-2 with an anchor in the midfield. There he used Brozovic as the anchor and let's assume he continues using that formation Basically, this is what it would look like. Obviously, you could push your wide midfielders both higher and lower, according to your own preferences. Another variation of the 3-5-2 could be this, where you play uh, Del Ali as the attacking midfielder. He's a whole player, so he will find some space in the attack and contribute to the offense. With this setup, you will obviously lose like the anchor man. You could still start Harry Winks as one of the central midfielders and still have some like stability in defense. But other than that, this is basically the same formation as the first one. Or if you want to go with something more similar to his Chelsea tactics when he was managing them, you could do something like this, like a 3-4-3. You can also call it a 3-4-2-1 with the, with the wingers up front. And this could obviously suit this year's Tottenham squad pretty well because you have Gareth Bale and you can have Son on the left and Harry Kane in the middle. So I think those three variations of the of the tactics and the formations are probably the ones that suit Antonio Conte best. Those are the tactics he has used for his teams in the past. And if we take a look at the instructions, I'm basically going to base this on Antonio Conte's My Club profile. And in my club, he's called Ripa, and the attacking instructions are as follows. They are possession game attacking style, short passing while attacking wide. They maintain formation, and they have a support range of four. Also, I did some googling to find out how they had been playing this year, and there were a couple of things that I noticed, and number one is they were the best counter-attacking team in the league. And number two, when they build up, they build up really patiently and they try to involve their forwards as much as possible in the build-up. So they will come back almost like a false nine. And another thing they have been doing is playing with width. They are attacking wide and trying to play their way inside the box and trying to create high probability chances. They are not shooting anything from range. They are not trying anything too experimental. They are doing safe choices, trying to combine their way into the box and get good scoring chances. And for the defense, it's frontline pressure, containment center, aggressive pressuring, a defensive line of six and then you have compactness of seven so for the advanced instructions i think i would do these two when attacking i would do hug the touchline because we are attacking wide but we also want to maintain depth to use the entire pitch and when you play with a team like tottenham you have good players with good passing ability you will be able to hit long passes with precision so you can switch play without any problems. And if you're doing this like the 3-4-3, three, three, I think you will get lots of space. I haven't tried this formation yet. I'm going to try it out in some games later, perhaps for another video. So I would do hug the touchline, combined with anchoring on Hurricane, because I want Hurricane to stay in the middle. 
I don't want him roaming outside on the flank. So when it comes to players and starting 11 and stuff like that, this is a good squad, so you have some options. But I think up front, you pretty much want to start these three guys. Or if you start with two strikers, uh, I think you should do Kane and then Son and then try perhaps to find, find a place for Bale on either wing or you can have him come off the bench or something like that. Obviously, he's going back to Real Madrid this summer when his loan ends. So he, he won't play next year, I, I think. But you know, he's so good in the game. So if you play with Tottenham this summer, you're obviously going to use him. Especially if you play online divisions and you want to get as much an edge as possible. You're going to feel the best players available. So, so feel free to use players even though they are leaving. The point here is to use the Conte tactics and try to have some fun. And also in the defense, I think the starting three is pretty much set. And then you have Loris in goal. Obviously the midfield is where you can do some rotation because you have options in all four or five positions depending on, uh, on which formation you choose to go with. At the wide midfielder roles, you can either use wide midfielders, you can use wingers, you can use fullbacks. You have plenty of options. And centrally, you have five you actually have six pretty good central midfielders if you also take into account Dele Alli. That's it. What do you think about these tactics? How do you think Tottenham will play if they appoint Conte? Let me know in the comments. And uh, I'm going to try this out in some games. Perhaps I'll do like a follow-up video. Either way, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.